UFC Unlimited Fight Channel. Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. It's always tough when you draw that high-level wrestler who has a lifetime of experience in a one-on-one -on -one competitive situation. Prevailing wisdom is he'll have the wrestling advantage in this one time. As his dad said, the moment he introduced him to the sport, he knew that he was made to be a wrestler. The kid slept in his headgear. He only wants to wrestle, and by doing that, he puts you in danger. He's constantly in your face constantly trying to dig at your gas tank. He goes from transition to transition, single to double to high crotch. It does not matter the attack, he just knows that he will give you so much to process in terms of the wrestling that eventually he will get you to the ground. You ever sleep in your head here? I sleep in my head here. All the time. All the time. All right, big one for him here tonight. Let's get to it. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Or till the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC Walkerweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 157 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, awesome. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been given your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it Ready. Ready to fight. Our round one is underway between one of the more well-rounded fighters in this division against maybe the best grappler in this division. Going to be interesting to see how it plays out stylistically. Yeah, you would think that he would just avoid grappling at all costs because he seems to have a clear advantage on the feet. But we've seen guys fight with their egos before. Let's see how he approaches this matchup. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. All right, here we go, early round one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it tonight. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand, make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. Head kick. 
massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Big knee to the body. Oh, head kick. That one was going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Look at the control of the posture as that big knee lands. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Leg kick. Way to be first. Just a split there. Nice punch there, finally. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Looking for the takedown, he gets it. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Under two minutes now to go in round one. Seconds now to go in the round. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity that. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. A solid strike on the ground. Forty-five seconds to go here in round one. Ground and pound strike there now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Lee's eye is closing up. Round two straight ahead. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, and how about the swelling on that eye? It is only getting worse by the moment. It looks like the eye isn't completely shut but it is moving in that direction. Not a good reality for him here. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. Ready, fight. Ready. Second round underway. Oh, a huge block there. Big leg kick lands. 
just unable to quite find that reach. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Flush right hand is true. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Boy, tie club. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Just misses there with the left. I mean, this is his game here. Control your opponent's posture, land those nice elbows around, the, around his guard. Spinning back fist. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. There. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Try to establish that jab. Watch these to the body. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Huge knee lands from the tie clinch. Nice punch by Lee. Oh, the difference in the strike is crazy. And he switches his stance yet again. Beautiful hand skills here, the right then the left. Able to check the high kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Beautiful body kick. And they separate. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Nice. Right punches there. Single collar tie now. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, is that a big knee to the body? We'll see if he can follow up. Big kick land. Well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. And he landed the right hand there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes up. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Nice head kick. Ooh! Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Oh, nice jab. Oh! <laughs> Lee gets caught with that punch. Gotta shore up the defense here. Real quick leg kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single follow tie. Lands the right hand. Oh, he's unable to find the target with that uppercut. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. He engages in the single collar tie, and he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Not there. Oh. All right, well,
overall, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Well, just as he did in the previous round. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Able to check that kick as well. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jab. And he caught the kick. <laughs> nice entry into the finish correct. Close guard. Lee's eye looks so slow, and now you've got to at least speculate as to whether or not that is a fractured orbital. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Blocks the shot. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Left hand punch to the clinch. I'm trying to double up on that jab. Oh, huge kick to that lead leg. He went high on that one. Swing and a big miss by Lee. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. And they separate. Big ball for the land. Now we get back to range. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Look at the turtle in that kick. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Wow, huge head kick. Spinning back fist. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Nice handy work by him there as he lands yet another punch. He does not take time to admire his work. He just goes right back in. Oh, collar tie. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Keep your hands up. Oh! And they separate. 30 seconds now to go in the round. That one snuck in. 
Nice strike. Caught that. No, there's danger in that too because when you start reaching out to catch that kick, here comes the high kick. And you're in a lot of trouble. Final seconds here. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fight. Head kick attempt, unable to find the target. Oh! Oh! Visibly limping here. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet! Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Thank you. Lee's punch to the body, rejected there by the defense. Nice job by the opponent. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh! Inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Just over three minutes to go now. Nice punch lands over the top. And there comes the separation now. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. How good is that right hand? Man, he has a point. So a near perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight. And they say, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, was able to get him down there. Persistence pays. And that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns. He tried to fix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top three? Got clip with the right hand. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. So three minutes have flown off the fight clock there. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Got the ground and pound going now. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. 
right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. Let's see if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount and they rush, they get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. Reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound, but very patient ground and pound from such a dominant position. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Good, solid strike on the ground. Ten seconds. Oh, the ground and pound is there. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. Here we go, fifth and final round. Punch coming, it's blocked. Ooh, what a punch. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Just missed with the left there. Right hand punch in the clinch. And they separate. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Please kick attempt. That one was blocked. Throwing that jab, no good. That knee might have landed there. Once again, employing the knee. Oh, level change. Nice trip to get the takedown. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Lands the ground and pound strike. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. I mean, how many can he take? Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Big kick land. How about that shin? All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Effective punch there. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Now we're starting to end oh! the fight. for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. We go 
to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 39 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.